Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and at the end of the last climactic episode, big, big finale, we got stuck down here, which is fine. Not going to cause us any issues, because what we're going to do next is just dig us a tunnel, and then, like, go straight up, I think? And then maybe that way? Oh, yeah, see, now this is how you get around in Minecraft right here. Okay! <laughs> okay! Oh, we gotta get going pretty quick. All of this stuff's gonna start blowing up. I gotta get out of here. We're close to death. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Hey, 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 hey. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's... He's coming right for me! We made it. No, we're fine. We're good. Unless he comes through the portal. But even then, I think we can take him. We're back on our home turf. We've done it. We, made, we went into the nether. We had a singular goal. And that goal was to get back with the blaze rod. We did it. Uh, we've also got a whole bunch of new stuff we can throw in here that's, I guess, never been learned before. And we're going to take a risk and say that we can probably macerate some of these things. We'll find out. I don't think you can macerate the reds. Oh, you can. Oh, but then it's going to get smelted, isn't it? What happens after it gets smelted? What does it get turned into? Uh, what was that? Multi-smelter? Um, shaped crafting shapeless... What what matters is I don't want it to get smelted. Oh, well. Come back here, you. I guess we'll let it get smelted. I can't tell what it's going to become. Probably redstone alloy ingots or some such nonsense. I don't care. Uh, lovely. This needs to go in there. Are you, are you locked up? Oh, you're doing the redstone. Okay, so what I can do is I can grab it out of the hopper <laughs> when it's done. Good. Convenient. Oh, man. Well, we're, we're back. Really excited to be back. Really excited to get some blaze powder. What did we need that for? Oh, I remember now. We were going to make a ender chest, weren't we? Yeah. We are going to make an ender chest and an ender pouch. Give me that. G give me that, too. How much more have you got? Give it all. Give it all to me. Give it all to me. Don't put any of it in there. Put it all in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we can make our ender pouch. And maybe... I, I don't know if it works through dimensions. We can try... I think it does. I think we did that in our original series. We had this peculiar setup. Uh, we need more blaze. Blaze objects. So blaze rods. Blaze powder. Didn't I put... Didn't I put blaze in here? I did. Okay. So for the ender... We're going to need four. Two, three, four. And then for this bad boy, we need four. Three, four. We also need some... Yeah, oh... Well, man, you want to talk about the map getting too big. How did I even do that? In. Yeah. Oh, in gets rid of the mini-map. Oh! I'm glad we finally figured that one out. Aren't you folks at home? E. Let's get some leather. Let's get some ender pearls. Why don't you know? And uh, then right after that, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some obsidian. And I don't know why I'm doing this voice. I don't know why I opted to do this voice and I still haven't done the poppy voice. Maybe for episode... Maybe for episode 20. Is that what this is? I think this is 19. Maybe episode 20 will finally do the old poppy voice. Like everybody's been requesting. I've been reading the comments on these. And everybody's asking for poppy. Really want me to do poppy. No one's asked for poppy. I don't know if anyone's asked for poppy. As most of you know, these are being recorded well in advance. I have not read any of your comments. Because they do not exist yet. I look forward to though. I look forward to going through as they're released... One every one at one an hour every hour, just looking over it and seeing why I'm being yelled at. I'm looking forward to that in some sort of weird, twisted way. Uh, let's see. I didn't mean to throw that first Ender device in here, but I did, and now I can get more of him if I need to. So no regrets. Let's place down our Ender chest over here, possibly, possibly just like right here. And then we need to get an iron pipe. No, let's not put it right there. I don't want to interfere with any sort of existing lines. Oh, I guess we can pipe right into there and assuming it, oh, it might mess. Mm. Oh, we're taking an awful risk here, Vader. <laughs> taking an awful risk. Let's head down to the basement and we'll sort of dismantle our chest down there. And you know what? It's not, it's not Swift Wolf Funding Gale, but we do have a jetpack, so we can fly out of here pretty quick still. That's a, the small blessings. You know, we're, we're getting places. Uh, we need that gate to get this set up correctly. This is super fast, too. I think this is, in terms of going upwards, 
I think it's faster than Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. It's not as convenient for a plethora of different reasons. You know what's good, though? Unlike in Tekkit Classic, if you hover right before you hit the ground, it rests momentum, whereas in Tekkit Classic, the momentum held, so even if you like slowed yourself to a stop when you landed, you would insta-die for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. That's just what happened. All right, so we want to go probably out over here and then up and into that iron pipe, that pre-existing iron pipe. So for that, we're going to need a few gold pipes and we need to take a nap. And, you know, we can't pass up this opportunity to replenish the sun because that's what happens when you go to bed. At the end of the day, the sun gets really tired and it has to go to bed. You know, it's got to it's got to rest up just like you do. And when you're asleep, the sun is like, oh, and then it just goes to sleep. It's real cool like that. The sun just it takes its little nap, and then it usually wakes up sometimes before you, sometimes after you, but it wakes up just like you do, fully charged and ready for the day. That's a real fact about the sun. Cool, that even set up exactly the way we want it. So now we can put our basic gate right there and configure it to items in inventory, energy pulse, and we can test it. We can right-click on the ender pouch, and there's already things inside of it. Why are there things inside of it? Is the quarry outputting to the ender chest? Is that what's happening? Deadgummit quarry. You're supposed to output items to the top. I mean, this technically doesn't hurt, but it, it kind of does. Because if it's going to be full of stuff from the quarry, then it can't be full of stuff that I'm sending it. So it looks like it's working. We could change the colors up here if we wanted to have, like, I think by just right-clicking dyes onto these spots, or maybe dyed wools, and then... That allows you to... Hold on. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of resources we've got. Do you think we've got enough now, finally? Do you think we've got... it? Do, do you reckon it's possible that we finally got enough for our lifelong ambition? Well, I mean, by lifelong, I mean the life of this series. Long ambition of building the freaking power flower. Have we done it? Is this the episode? This was going to be called something stupid like Jetpack Joyride or something like that. I was going to give it a real clickbaity title because I've been trying to give all of these dumb clickbaity titles just for fun. Oh my gosh, we've got a lot of EMC right now. Hold on. We've got a lot of EMC right now. Let's grab three of these bad boys. Two of those. So not enough. But we're, we're going to be a lot closer once we're done here. We're going to be so much closer once we are done doing this. So like I said, we're going to get rid of this one because it's stupid to have it. And then I'm going to configure this thing up just like you would a real fully functional power flower. And I'm going to demonstrate why it's dumb to have a relay on the top. So the relays go along the sides here like this. They don't all have to be facing out. Uh, in fact, we're going to put these like that. Uh, you can put them on the bottom too. And somehow they still get sunlight. So... There we go. And then I guess we can do probably a couple over here. We're going to run out. I can't I can't really demonstrate why it's dumb to have them on the top yet because we've run out. But what's happening is you've got all of these clustered around one of these antimatter relays. So not necessarily this one, but the one inside of here is accepting the energy from all of the collectors connected to it and pumping them uh, back into the condenser. So, as you can see, we've got a collector here. We're soon going to have one here, one here, and one here. That leaves this spot on the top open. And what a lot of people do, for reasons as of yet unexplained to me, is they will put uh, an MK relay on the top, and then on top of that, another energy collector. But why? There's literally no reason to do that. That extra energy collector is only interacting with the... Or the, the extra relay is only interacting with the one extra collector. Just put a collector right here. It'll automatically feed into the condenser. You don't need a relay here for any reason whatsoever, except blatant stupidity. Uh, unnecessary. Entirely unnecessary. I know this is a weird thing to get all up in arms about, but everybody has to have their thing, you know? For some people, it's, it's something productive, like ending world hunger. For me, it's preventing people from doing dumb things with their antimatter relays in a mod pack that, quite frankly kind of doesn't exist anymore this hasn't the, the tech tech technic platform's dead isn't it like the entire technic platform is essentially dead they're not releasing any new mod packs tech it hasn't gotten a new version since tech it legends in 2015 tech it is it's a relic from the past and i hate to say that because it makes me really really sad i love tech it 
Tech it was my first ever Minecraft mod pack. Well, there was the WoW pack, but I just played that to, I, I you know, it had like a launcher where you could choose what you, oh, and I guess there was the Yogg Box too. Tech it was the first big series I ever had. That's better. We'll go with that. And I've enjoyed playing every single version. Every single version I've ever played has been a, just a great experience. And now it's basically dead. Basically no more tech it. Let's go back to the nether. And we're going to just destruction catalyst the place and get as much ore and resources as we can. Because then we can, you know, macerate those things, get quadruple ores. Oh my gosh, he was waiting for me there. Did he just go through the portal? Huh, huh. Uh, that, my friends, is what we call a problem for later. Can't be a problem now if we can't deal with it now, right? So, oh, wonder what happened there. Let's go decide where we're going to start mining. Probably, I mean, does it? are, are there different lay levels for different objects? It doesn't look like it because there's gold right there. Seems to me that we could probably just walk over here and boom. You hear that sizzling sound? Oh, no! No, no, no! How did you do this? How did you do this? How did you manage to, to injure me so quickly? Just come out of nowhere like that. Good grief. There's no place safe. There's no there's no place safe for us to do any kind of aggressive mining. You know what we can do to get rid of this guy, though? Oh, dadgummit. He saw right through that. He saw right through that, too. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't see through that, did ya? Yeah. Oh, okay. And we've got our safe space to mine now. Nothing can get us here because nothing can drop and then move over to the side to get where we're standing right now. Okay, the smoke and the sizzling happens. And I'm not sure what it is that's about to blow up. So it's sort of hard to react. Oh, gosh. Why is there so much lava in this world? Well, dumb questions are dumb. What are these things? Good gosh. What are the... What are the what, I, I, what, why? This is an unsafe space. I don't want to mine here anymore, I don't think. I think I want to get out of here before I get murdered to death. The worst kind of murdered, too. If we, like, break all of this fast enough, does that prevent it from blowing up? If we just get really... Yeah, because you see, you hear the sizzling. But then if I really get down there and I just mine it all up, I don't think we can be hurt by it. Let's go this way some. Okay, so here we go. We got some We got some ores. Let's get that gold ore. Let's get that, that, that iron. I think if we're quick. I do think that it, it works if we're quick. We can very quickly break these things and prevent them from blowing up if we're fast enough. We can sort of, like, undo the fuse. Now let's give this a try. If we start throwing items in here, will they start pumping out? Yeah, because the quarry's keeping the chest loaded. Awesome. So we could just stay here I mean, until we run out of energy in the Klein Star and keep trying to mine up some of these ores. We might be better off in the overworld, though. I'm kind of scared of getting too far ahead of myself because of that. Right, that right there, what you just saw with the, the lava. Yeah, that could really Shrek us up real good. Look at that. that. That one hasn't even realized they can go over here yet. Maybe the lava is not as clever as I thought it was. I mean, I had up until now believed the lava to be sentient, but now I'm starting to question that belief. The assertions of my crazy science teacher now seem a little, well, crazy, to be honest. I remember when he sat me down and he said, Reese, I've got a theory. And I said, tell me about it, teach. And he said, I think that lava's alive. I think it's sentient, and I think it's planning something. Well, I think what we've learned here today pretty much proves that he was wrong and also not real. I was homeschooled. My mom definitely never believed that lava could talk or was alive. So, yeah, maybe I just hallucinated him. Maybe this is just a made-up story. Maybe it did happen, and I was lying about being homeschooled. There's so many different layers to this. It could go any way, really. Okay, you guys want to play that game? You want to play the war game? Let me show you how to war. How you like that? You like that war? You don't like that war, do you? You guys want to play at the war, too? There you go. Play at the war. Go play war, you fools. <laughs> That's what we'll do. We'll get rid of the pigmen by throwing them all in holes. Soon it'll be nothing but a world full of holes and trapped pigmen, and I will rule with a, with an iron fist, with a, a, a lapis fist. With, what's the best material? A diamond fist, and everyone will worship me or despair. They will love me in despair. I've watched The Lord of the Rings. I know what the situation is. I know what Kate Blanchett wants to do with that ring. She wants to make herself prom queen because she missed out on it in high school. And now's her opportunity to get revenge on all those petty people and their, their petty uh, obsession with appearances. 
But uh, it's not going to happen because Odin, Odin's sending her to another dimension. Sucks to be her, quite honestly. Locking her away for her petty desires. Uh, it's a crossover of End of the Century, really. I loved that. I loved when Galadriel showed up in Thor the Third Thor. Thor the Funny Thor. That was great. I really liked that tie-in. I also liked when Frodo appeared at the battle at the end of uh, Avengers Endgame. I thought that was a little weird because I didn't get it at first, but then I, I connected the dots. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Hella, I, I get it. Let's put some of this stuff in here. Maybe we should go now because... I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just charge this back up and... Oh my gosh, the little one. Even the little one. Oh my... Look at that. That one's got some sort of a... Oh! Oh, yeah, the explosion in the base of it was planned all along. How do I get out of here? Where's home? <laughs> the portal is over there. We've made a lot of distance. We've consumed half of our EMC. I don't think it was full to begin with, though. Oh, you know what? I need to not jump over lava without confirming that I've got the energy to spare for such a thing. I need to be paying attention to energy, because that would be awful if I just kind of accidentally start flying over the lava and then find myself very dead. we got to be prepared, because once we get back to the overworld, that other pigment's going to be there. He's going to be waiting for us. What'd I tell you? But does he know? Ah, even in my world, he's irritated with me. I was going to hold on to him. I thought he might be, you know, like a fun companion to have and keep around. I could talk to him about my adventures, and he could offer me sage wisdom and advice from... Years of being a pig. Oink, 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 oink. Things like that. And I could go, oh, <laughs> pig man, you are quite funny. And he'd go, <laughs> that was sort of my hopes, dreams, goals, schemes. Didn't pan out that way, though. Okay, items that aren't being sorted. Do we need to just manually deal with this stuff, or do I need to automate? Yeah, there's a lot of it coming through. I think we've got the, the spare room to say, send the nether rack down here, please. It's kind of like, yeah, because if we're going to go back to the nether and do that anymore, we want that kind of taken care of for us. Don't have to manually do that. I think the ores, though, are so rare, I can manually throw them in the hopper, and it won't be a big deal. There. All right. Got all that going. You very well stay up there for all I care. Hopper? Hopper's catching up. Some of these items couldn't be put in the hopper before. Do y'all remember what they were? I, I certainly don't. Oh, you know what? The, the nether... We'll see what the redstone becomes. I'm not sticking around to keep my eye on it. How are we doing? Oh, we're not doing too hot. I was hoping we would come back and we would have another huge surge of EMC. Because we're real close to completing our goal. Remember the goal? One power flower. In the past, I've said crazy things like getting full gem armor and getting a tier 3. Those were stretch goals. The actual goal... Is just to build a tier one collector. And with every if every passing second we get a little bit closer to that being a reality. And that, my friends, is the true meaning of friendship. My little pony. Any bronies in the house? Come on, bronies. Let me let me hear you say Rainbow Dash. That's a that's a pony, right? Rainbow Dash? Rainbow Dash is one of them. Hey, wait a minute, I've got a destruction catalyst. Finally, <laughs> I can't get rid of these houses in my way. The natives are all gone. They're not coming back. I can't remember what happened to them. Was I responsible for that? I have a vague recollection of me going around killing everyone who came into my house, making like door swishing sounds, but I don't think I would have killed everyone in town. That doesn't seem like something I would do. Uh, we're going to get rid of this house, though. I know it's been here for a long time. It's, it's certainly been here since before we got here. It, you could argue it's a staple of the town, and when you looked at it, you know, maybe it, it gave you some warm memories of that time we found this place and, and told the locals we're taking over, get out. But it's too, the house is gone. Look, I'll put some of the bricks back to fill in this hole in the floor, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is going to irritate some of you. I'm going to leave this middle section hollow. Maybe a spider will spawn in there. How funny would that be? Uh, it wouldn't be funny. It'd be really annoying. It'd be making all kinds of noises, and we'd have to put up with it. Let's let's EMC this stuff. Let's see what it's all worth. We were talking about that before. Not a whole heck of a lot. Tragically. Some of these things don't even have a value. Which means they're valueless to me too. What? 10? What is this stuff doing in here? This stuff needs to be processed. Look, we can now walk right over here. It's wide open and beautiful and I love it. Get in there, guys. Not you though. Hold on. What were you? You you can't be put in there, right? We, we determined this? Yeah, you go straight into here actually. Oh. 
uh, systems are all clogged up. I, I don't think gold... Oh, it is going in here. That's gold? This is sulfur. Okay, we don't want to get those things confused. Gold can go... Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Let's put all of this in here. Boom! Big old spikes of EMC. Huge! Should we build another quarry? I kind of feel like I should. I feel like if we do anything less than three, we're going to be considered sort of less than less than serious about all this. I'm sort of tempted to set one up over here to just devour what's left of the town. Just this huge swath of land over here. Should I do that? I could wait for your reply, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I don't have time to wait for your reply because by that point, it'll be too late. I'll have failed. I guess I could have maybe asked for comments in the first few episodes and then waited to record the final episode until just before it had to go out and then I could incorporate your comments. But that would have been really stressful for me. Ah, oh, we don't have enough EMC for a quarry. Okay, well, now we do, but do we... Huge investment. Huge investment, and we're doing it. It's happening. We're going to set up another quarry. We're going to set it up right over here. And I said it was going to be all of this, and I wasn't joking. So if we put down our marker, maybe right here. We need to go get some markers. We're going to have to define the territory first. So let's see. Uh, mark. What are they called? Are they actually called markers? They are, yeah. Land markers. So we'll grab our landmarks. Oh my gosh, landmark. Like a place that, you know, you go to see a historical event had taken place before, right? <laughs> Could I have phrased that any more poorly? We can't put that there because something's got to go on the edge. Okay, we'll put it right here and then we'll start heading in this direction. And it's got to be at this level. So we'll just kind of dig all this out. Hold on, just... Oh, dadgummit, did I get rid of my destruction catalyst? I did. I think the dis destruction catalyst went into the quarry to make it happen. And that's perfectly fine by me. How far ahead do we want to go with this? I want to go until we at least consume this house. Just completely wipe it off the face of the earth. I want no memory of this house ever existing. And this ought to do it here. Perfect. So this house is going to be wiped from existence. And then we'll put the other one kind of just over here outside the range of these trees. Now I did plant these trees. So we're not really getting rid of the, the memories of the natives by breaking that. But uh, is that a, is that a tear up? We're going to need some... I mean, I'm not, not a tear up as in I'm crying. I mean, like a level up. There we go. This might be too big for a quarry. I think it's 64 by 64 max. I don't know how far we went that direction, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was too big. Oh, it's not. Oh, how brilliant. How brilliant. Let's put our quarry right there. We'll put our quarry fixer down just long enough to trigger it. I don't know if that actually did anything. It didn't look like it did. Maybe it has to be on this side. Should have gotten rid of that water up there. Maybe we have to get rid of the water manually. Maybe it's because it's a level above. Yeah, that's probably it. So we'll get rid of that. We'll, we'll go throw the quarry fixer away. We don't need it. And uh, we'll probably be better off just getting the EMC out of it to, to get everything powered up. Because we're going to need what? Wireless teleporting pipes. Uh, that's not what they're called. I constantly forget the actual name. What are they? They are the power teleporting pipe. And then the item teleporting pipe. And then let's not use the power teleporting pipe. Well, we'd, we'd have to get two of them. It'd, it'd be easier to get some kinesis pipes. And just run a line. You run a line, I'll run a pole, honey. You run a line, I'll run a pole, babe. Okay, we'll set it up to send on frequency 100. That's what everything's using. And then for power, we'll have to run a line over. This is good. I've been meaning to run a line kind of this way anyway. Because I have a dream that we're going to set up a whole bunch more. There we go. Engines. How are we doing on power? Good there. What about on these? These had a lot in them, didn't they? Five. These would be the ones I would expect to be running out. Yeah, four. Oh, good. It's up and running. Perfect. Uh, one issue is the tops of these roofs are still going to be here. I don't think it's going to get rid of those. I might have to go through and manually... We'll have to get a new destruction catalyst and manually remove those. And that's fine. Let's talk for a moment about engines. How many of those can we get? 64. That's how cheap they are. What does that sound? Did y'all hear that? It sounded like a witch. I heard the sounds of glass breaking. That's very witch-like. Like they're breaking vials or potions or something? I don't see one, though. One hasn't moved into one of these houses, have they? Oh, imagine if you looked in one of these houses and there was a... 
a single testificate, but somehow survived. <laughs> Defying the odds and surviving. I can respect it. I can respect- Oh, well, we're done for today. Thank you folks for watching. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!